Hello everybody, and um, Chris here, and oh my god, it has been so long since my last review, uh, almost a year ago, and I apologize that I haven't made videos in so long, but here I am now. Now today I will review um, a cigarette that I like pretty, it's pretty high on my list. We have Marlboro 27s. So let's start one of these up. The pack design right off the bat, awesome. It has a really cool pack design. It's like a, like a caramel color with like, I don't know, it, it just looks awesome. And the cigarette design, it doesn't say Marlboro on the cigarette like many others do. It says, I don't know if you can see that, it says, yeah, barely, number 27. So let's start it. Great taste. Great taste. Um, it almost tastes like uh, caramel or it, it's nutty. The best way I can describe it, and I don't know if any of you have had these kinds of cigarettes, they're kind of like Chesterfields um, with a filter. Chesterfields are a really good cigarette, by the way. They're unfiltered. Very, very good. Um, But these these are very these are very good. Um, like I said, it has a nutty kind of caramel roasted taste. It's very good. It it's um, it's just a, it, it's really good. I mean, I, that's all I can use to describe. Uh, a couple things about me. The reason why I haven't made a video in almost a year, simply because I haven't really had the time, you know, with work and going to school and whatnot, and um, you know, college, you know. So, it's been kind of busy for me, but, um, you know, that's, that's why. But I'm back, that's all that matters. But, um, yeah, rating these, the pack design, give an 8 out of 10. Cigarette design, 8 out of 10, and the overall taste, I'd have to give an 8 out of 10. Now, I will warn you, um, these kinds of cigarettes, to me, they're like Marlboro Smooths. I can only buy a pack of them every now and then, because I bought a carton of them, and um, which the price, it was $60 for a carton, it's about 6 something for a pack here in, uh, where I, by where I live, and... Um, I mean, it's not that bad, the price anyway, but like like I said, um, I wouldn't recommend buying a carton of them, because I'm halfway through the carton, and um, and yeah, it's uh, it's kind of hard to smoke a whole, a whole carton of these. But, um... You might notice I've lost a lot of weight since my last um, review. That was almost a year ago. Back then I weighed about 175 to 180, whereas now I weigh 120. I owe it all to good old-fashioned anorexia, and um, no, I just I I became a vegetarian. I changed my diet. You know, not eating so much. Uh, bad stuff anymore, so that's all it takes. Smoking doesn't hurt either, but you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are very good cigarettes. I would definitely recommend them. However, like I said, I would not recommend buying them by the carton. I would just recommend buying a pack every now and then. I mean, these, I could not see these as my everyday cigarette. 
Now these, however, and I'll review these maybe later today or tomorrow, uh, these Dunhill menthols are extremely good, and I definitely, th that's my new thing. I mean, that's my new cigarette. It used to be Marlboro 54s, but now those, those beat the shit out of them. I'm telling you, they're so freaking good, and I'll review those uh, later. But, um, uh, and as you can see, the burn on these, very good. So yeah, I would definitely recommend them. Like I said, they kind of... I'd say they have the strength of a Marlboro medium. I don't think they're as strong as the Reds. But they have... Uh, they have the... Uh, they kind of have the... It's weird. They have the taste of Reds with like that caramel or whatever taste, that nutty taste. And then they have the... Um, the strength of like a medium but they're very good I mean definitely would recommend so um yeah I guess that's it and I uh, will uh, see you to, see you uh, see you later with another review alright guys take it easy